Uh, how you feeling? Had you had any symptoms at all? Concussion symptoms through the process? No, I'm good, man. I'm, I haven't had no symptoms since really like day two for us. So ever since it happened, I, I ain't had no symptoms there. So I've been feeling good, feeling great, feeling back to normal. Are you gonna play on Sunday? Um, I, I hope so. You know, I should. You know, I'm. I just like you said, clear protocol. So I'm good to go. You did. You played protocol. Mm -hmm. Officially, yeah. What is that process like? Like uh, being able to practice, but still not being back until the doctor says so. Yeah, basically. Um, I mean, you, you do a lot of brain stuff, so it's like, you know, basically like you back in school, going through steps, and you know, a lot of memorization stuff. So, but it's it's pretty. It ain't that, you no, know, too much intense. It's just regular. It's not like you got wires and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah it ain't it ain't all that. Are you gonna miss it all? The heavy workload you had against Buffalo. Now that Raheem is back, it's gonna be more of a split carry thing, I would guess. Um, I was I'm gonna miss it. I mean, it don't matter who out there. Like I feel like we we whoever go out there can uh, do do for this team. So um, like you said, it's, it's good to have him back. It just it's just more bodies and more you know a talent on the field. What would it mean to have a full stable of running backs, all healthy since I guess first time since it, It's good, man. So that means like. Uh, a defense can't just kill one of us, uh, like you said, because, like you said, all of us is healthy now, so all of us can, anybody, any one of us can go in there and, you know, make plays and do his best for the team. Has Jalen Wright ever, you know, picked your brain about, hey, man, you were able to do this as a rookie, like, what are some tips on how to make an impact in your work? Um, I feel like we all do that, even though, like, we not a rookie like him. I feel like we all still ask each other questions about like what you've seen or like what I can do or because we know everybody, everybody's different. Everybody see different things. So I feel like just because he's a rookie, um, like I ask him stuff, he asks me stuff, we ask him, he asks us. So it's not like a oh he a rookie, so he just want to ask us. I feel like as a group we ask each other. What was your impression of how you played uh, after you left the win again? Um, I, I feel like, but they played great. They played great. Him and him, um, like you said, like we ran the ball forty sometimes. So. That, that, that tells you a lot that, you know, we was able to run the ball and even, you know, um, even get our fullback involved because, you know, he was out there, <laughs> you know, doing a lot. So for him to score the touchdown, you know, that, that meant a lot for us. I know, uh, as you said, every offseason you have to think about whether to continue playing. You're obviously Where are you going with it? Where are we going with this? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to ask you this. You're playing at the same high level that you always play at. The Appreciate same it. Level. Is it important to you late in your career to continue to play at an elite level to want to continue to play? I just try to put my best foot forward every day, uh, every game, do what I can for as, for as far as my assignment to help my teammates. So I really don't look at like where I'm viewed across the league or whatever. It's like I try to execute my assignment. Don't let my guy make the tackle. Don't let my guy take the quarterback. That's just, I, seriously, like I try to take that small viewpoint of an approach. With Raheem, obviously, having him back, uh, what, what is it about his running style that makes him run to lock? He's physical, man. He's violent. The defenders know that they got to bring it when they when they come in to try to tackle 31. Like, you look at him, you see him. He's not the biggest guy, but he's, he's crazy strong and his mentality that, that he runs with. And he's always a home run threat, too, so they know they can't be late. And you can't mess around and play with him when you see 31 coming through that hole. You said last week that the right game has to be a staple on the board. Sure. Uh, why is that? Why do you believe that? It's, I, I believe it's, it's a part of what we do if we want to be, in order for us to be as successful as we want to be. Like, it has to exist. It has to be the foundation of our offense because it opens up everything in the, in the passing game and the the other plays, gadget plays that Mike want to install, but you don't really get the defense eyes or they don't really respect a lot of the fakes unless you're running the ball effectively. So in order to bring linebackers up, get safety eyes and Tyreek and Waddle to get behind them, you got to run the ball effectively. Throughout your career, have you found that teams coming off of a bye, your team, usually performs well and benefits from the bye? Uh, I, I, honestly, I've never seen like a study on like the record of teams coming off a of bye, but I would assume it's probably pretty well. You got extra time to, to scout a team, to prepare the game plan, but then you also get in that rest and get your body back. Physical, it's a physical sport we play, so week to week, it's, it's a grind. You know, nobody's going in 100%. The team coming off the bye is a little better situation than the other, in my opinion. With, with all the adversity that you guys have faced in the first quarter of the season, how important is it to, to come leave Indianapolis at 500? Man, that's goal number one, two, and three, for sure. Like, it's, it's serious, man. We 
We uh, we want nothing more than this win. It'll be huge for us moving forward, but not even think about moving forward. If we get this win, we'll be we'll be right where we want to be. Where is this offensive line in terms of the chemistry, the comfort? The, obviously, you, you, you've got a little bit of tease of what you can do against New England, but how do you get that out of them consistently? We're progressing. We're progressing. Uh, I think the thing that we need to do more as an offensive line, like, and as far as our consistency, is eliminate the negatives, the penalties, uh, the, the MEs. As long as we can eliminate those or minimize those, our production has been there, like on film. But a lot of the our best games have come back from penalties and the, and the negatives. So if we can eliminate those and continue to progress with our technique, I like where we are. What have you seen from uh, Rob Jones and the guy playing next to you? He a dog, man. He a dog. Like I, I, like I said before, I love playing next to him. He's physical. I know what I'm getting from him. Somebody that's going to fight no matter what the situation is. He, he bought it. I'm bought it with him. So I love, I love going, to, going to war with Rob.